Hey everyone, um, I am going to do another live video about black henna. You may have seen my last one and if you were there live then I apologize because the, the audio was not good, um, but I think I got it today. So we'll see. So I'm going to talk about why you need to avoid black henna, um, how to recognize it, and then uh, what the difference is between black henna and natural henna. And um, do a little consistency test on my little board right here. So let's first talk about why to avoid black henna. Um, black henna contains something called PPD, uh, which is a highly allergenic black dye. And this is something that is contained in um, hair dyes, and that's why they tell you not to um, put it on your roots because it'll touch your skin. It's not FDA approved for skin application and it can cause blistering, inflammation, and scarring. So that's one reason you'd want, uh, a good enough reason <laughs> why you'd want to avoid it completely. Um, how to recognize it. So you'll see right here, there's, I have a few cones of black henna that I purchased <clears throat> locally um, from a shop. So the first way to recognize it is it'll be in a manufactured cone. And by that, I mean, look for colorful, cones that have stuff printed on them. So uh, I don't know if that will focus, but um, you know, green, blue, and then you see the graphics are printed on the cone itself and the instructions are printed on the cone itself. Um, that's one way to recognize black henna. The other way is if you actually read the words on some of these, it says um, may cause serious inflammation of the skin uh, so that's a good <laughs> way to tell um, if you have black henna. Um, the other reason, the other way to recognize it is the the cone will say that it dyes the skin fast. So natural henna takes several hours to dye the skin. So if it says it can do it in 20 minutes, then that's um, a reason you might want to avoid it because it most likely contains um, PVD. Um, the, the last re uh, way to recognize black henna is if you see them being stored on a shelf. So if it's stored on a shelf, natural henna, natural henna won't last very long on a shelf, maybe a day at most before it stops, before it loses its ability to dye the skin. Um, but black henna, because it has the PPD in there, can be stored on the shelf. Um, so if it's not stored in the freezer, then I would avoid it because it most certainly will have PPD in it. So, um, my henna cones, there's my ingredients. I just do henna powder, sugar, essential oils, and water. And this is what my cones look like. Natural henna cones um, are made with cellophane, so you won't see any printed thing on it. So this is what I make the cones out of. It's just a little square of cellophane. And they can have different designs on it, but there's no graphics or text printed on it. And then I just roll it into a cone. And, to, and secure it with tape so an empty one would look like this. And then I put the paste inside this opening at the end and um, then tape it down. So that is a natural henna cone right there that contains my paste in it. So I thought it would be fun. I did this last time on the video, um, but I thought it would be fun again since that one didn't turn out <laughs> to try out the black henna not on the skin, obviously, because that would be very bad, um, but on this board here, just to see the different consistency. So I'm just going to open one of them this time, not all four of them. This one, um, you know what? Oh, that's that's my head. That's okay. So the last time I did this, it stained my board a little bit, actually. This acrylic board um, won't get stained by natural henna. Um, after it dries, you can just scrape it off. But the black henna actually dyed the acrylic. So anyway, so I opened this one. It's called Fast Henna, Strong and Stable. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, it's coming out the end. OK, I have to, I have to open a different one. It's coming out of the end of here. Right, let me. I'll open this one. This one is called Fast Henna as well. I don't know what the difference is between them. Mm. 
yeah, that one burst open on the, on the end of it. Okay. This one is not coming out. I wonder if you're supposed to clip the end of this one. Nope. Something's wrong with that one. Let's open this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, I wonder what that's in focus for you guys. Doesn't look like it. Sorry guys, it's kind of out of focus. I'm not sure why. Okay, I'll just do a quick flower. So it's very lump it's very lumpy. Very lumpy. It's kind of hard to work with. I don't know, you guys can't see that very well. So here's the natural henna. It's definitely a lot smoother and easier to work with. I don't know how I would um, work with a paste like that. The, consist the consistency isn't very good. It's much easier to work with my henna. And I don't know why that's not uh, focusing. Sorry, guys. Um, but there you go. Black henna looks black. Um, and natural henna. So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.